Way back in the golden before time of 2018, Bioware introduced the saboteur path. The sabotage would start small, they said, but it would grow in scope as the story progressed. While the prospect of playing a saboteur didn't satisfy the people who just wanted to outright switch factions, the prospect of undermining your home faction sounded intriguing. I was skeptical they could pull it off, but I was willing to give it a chance. After all, a saboteur plot is ripe with possibilities for conflict and drama, and I'm always here for that. But that was 2018. The saboteur path has been running alongside the drips and drabs of story we've had for years now. So I thought it might be a good time to take a look back and see how it's going and whether it's lived up to those cautious expectations. And well, the answer to that is yes and no. I never expected we'd get wildly branching storylines with vastly divergent outcomes. Even for Bioware of old, this would be a massive undertaking. Now, I'd imagine it's nearly impossible. And to be fair, they never promised that's what they were going to do. That doesn't mean I'm still not a little disappointed in what we've gotten so far, though. If I had to sum up my thoughts on the saboteur storyline at this point, I'd say missed opportunities and wasted potential, much like the rest of the story. Since the storyline kicked off on Osis, our duplicitous PCs have lied, stolen, and manipulated their way through updates large and small. Some of their activities could, I suppose, have reasonably gone unnoticed. Stealing some farming data, ignoring leads that could have helped their faction, letting a prisoner escape. I mean, accidents happen, right? Items get misplaced, and so on. But they've made some pretty big moves, too. Murdered important people, destroyed entire fleets, or didn't destroy entire fleets, as the case may be. Actions that are so blatant, you have to wonder how they're ever trusted again. I mean, when you're the only person in the room with a switch to throw and somehow you can't get it done, time and time again, you'd think someone would begin to question their competence, if nothing else. But no one ever does. There have been hints here and there that maybe someone is starting to worry that the Alliance poses a security risk, but no one has suggested that the PC should tighten security or look for leaks. And certainly no one is openly suggesting that the PC is the problem. Just the opposite, in fact. They continue to be brought into the most sensitive operations. And I suppose that's my problem with the storyline. There's no tension between the saboteur and their faction at all. The PC gets a pass no matter how outrageous their failure. That's okay when the story is just starting out, but we're about four years in now. The story needs to be going somewhere. Something needs to be building. The latest story update, the Manon Daily Zone story, could be the beginning of something interesting, despite the classic dialogue style of the delivery. Attempting to undermine their home faction's efforts on Manon, both Republic and Imperial saboteurs personally coerce an NPC into aiding their sabotage, either by feeding the home faction false information or spying for the opposite faction. The story ends with the saboteur's agent safely in place and no one the wiser. But you have to think it's only a matter of time before they're found out. After all, there's only so much false information you can receive before you start realizing you're receiving false information. In which case, the jig will be up for the saboteur. And that could be so much fun! What does the saboteur do when faced with the possibility of being found out? How far would they go to keep their cover? What could it mean for the Alliance or romances? There are so many possibilities for great story here. But only time will tell if anything comes of what happened on Manon, or if it's just another thread that's dropped and forgotten with the next update, like so many others before. Which, sadly, is the most likely outcome. Because in order for the saboteur story to really have its due, Bioware has to be willing and able to commit money and other resources to it. And that's just something they don't seem to want to do for any story these days. So I don't hate the saboteur story. In fact, I like the idea of it. But like so much story in Sotor these days, I just wish it was more. But what do you think? Do you have saboteurs? And where do you hope the story goes? Let us know in the comments, like and subscribe for more stuff like this, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching!